Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Between Two Wheels podcast, I'm your host, Tyler Yonke. I appreciate you joining us in. Look, I was going to take the week off, but with news that broke out today, I got to you got to post something out. You have to make some comments about this. It's fresh. And why not make some speculation before we have all the, all the facts in? This is what the news media does. Why not us? This is the Between Two Wheels podcast. We do cycling news and commentary, mostly from Northern California. We do it from Northern California. We do it on the Northern California racing scene. We also dig into the World Tour. We've covered the Tour of California for several years. We cover all the big races, and we make all the comments. You're coming here for the best analysis, maybe? Either way, just thanks for coming back. All right. Let's talk real quick. Froome, Dumoulin, and Thomas, last year's top three in the Tour de France. They were the podium, uh, but they're suffering to be ready, to be healthy, and to be questionable for this year's Tour. Let's start right off with Froome. Froome, well, we know he's got alleged injuries. We'll talk more about that coming up. Um, he's out of the Tour. He Maybe he's out of racing in general for 2019. That's still yet to be determined He's got a six-week road uh, left in the hospital, maybe a six-month left to even before he starts to recover. He says, I'm coming back right away. Remember, his orthopedic surgeon said he's coming back better than ever. At his age and his injuries, he's going to be better than ever. Yeshiva Balaki, we've mentioned him. He went down in the crash with Lance Armstrong in the Tour de France, broke his hip, femur, or something along that, tibia. Uh, he was never quite the same after that. He's mentioned in several different news stories that you're gonna Froome is gonna mark his his recovery and his career from this point before and this point on. I think that's true. Um, I would like to talk to some doctors about what that recovery actually looks like. We've got some things planned for you coming here in the future. Dumoulin. Okay, first of all, Froome out of the tour. Dumoulin. Okay, after the Dauphiné, well, he crashed in the Giro, had some issues with his knee. He was trying to make some moves in the in the Giro stage one. He's up the road, the time trial. He's suspect, but he's what second, third place, uh, looking good there. But and then he had to pull out, and he was never really in contention. It looked like he was just trying to do some things. So pulls out of the Giro. I mean, out of the Dauphiné, he then. Uh, goes and they decide to have some surgery on his knee, minor surgery. That was, I think, yesterday. They said, oh, it looked like some metal shrapnel splinters in his knee. So they decided it was starting to do some swelling and some infection. We're going to take it out. Further inspection, it was gravel. They took it out. He rode around, felt pretty good. Then he's heading up to La Pana, uh, in the Alps ski station up there. You may remember that from the tour, I think 2002. That's when Lance really stomped on it on that race. That, that day, I think uh, Michael Bugard won there. Uh, Regardless, you've got La Plana, That's where he's going to go do this camp. He's halfway there. He decides, nope, I'm not ready. I'm turning around. First of all, I just want to say about gravel or metal shards in your knee. You're not going <laughs> to... They knew these were in there, but they were just waiting. I, if it's a minor surgery, but you're waiting until the infection starts, that doesn't seem like the appropriate um, medical assessment. I would say take that shit out now and I don't want it to get infected. Your body is reacting. You're going putting it through the rigor here on all these races and you can't afford to have any kind of infection. You want to be uh, fit and ready for the tour. This is a big deal for him this year. Now that Froome's out, it's a bigger deal. Now that Thomas, we'll see what happens to him. It may be even a bigger deal. Anyway, so Tom Dumoulin cleared but he's not quite ready. We'll keep uh, an eye on his uh, progression and to where he's at. Now, Thomas, always the rider in Chris Froome's shadow, always the one following in his footsteps. Hey, Froome gets all over in the news for a big crash. Why don't I take this opportunity to crash as well? He does. About 30K to go in today's Tour de Suisse, fourth stage. Next thing you know, he's on the ground. The teams were in full throttle. They were looking to try to chase down for the sprinters. Uh, I think one of the, the the Swiss riders was still up the front. And so they were trying to bring that back to make sure that the sprinters had a chance today because, you know, you're going to start coming into the mountains and the sprinter guys that are there, they want their opportunity. So they're looking to bring this break back. They're going full throttle. Next thing you know, uh, Garrett Thomas is on the ground. There's an Astana rider off in the bushes and Thomas is not getting up. He's instantly, you can tell something's wrong or to the point where he just doesn't want to want to get up and, and ride. Uh, they're checking his head. They're just moving his shoulder. He's down on the ground for quite a while, sitting up. He's at least sitting up, so you could think that there's probably not any egregious head injuries. But he was taken to the hospital, uh, scrapes on his face, and, and 
that's all we're really hearing at this point. It looked like to me when they were the way they were checking on the shoulder that maybe he was worried about like a collarbone break. Uh, but you're usually not moving it back and forth like they were. I, it, it reminded me kind of of the uh, the Caddyshack where uh, Ronnie Dangerfield hit, gets the ball, hits the ball, hits his shoulder, and, and they're twisting around. He's like, "Oh yeah, it's broken." Okay, they're moving it. It's probably not broken. He's probably going to be up and running. But it's, why wouldn't you try to finish? You know, this is an important race for fitness, for prep for the tour. Uh, maybe there's a head problem there. I don't know. We will find out more coming up. But with those three kind of in, you know, like Froome's out. Dumoulin's really suspicious. And Thomas, we don't know. He's a maybe. I and mean, maybe there was something wrong where they're like, yep, totally, you know, he's out, fractured something, busted his his shoulder. He's, he's not going to be able to be there in time. Who knows? Uh, I suspect Thomas will be there, but he may not be in full flight. Then the next tier you have is Kreuzwick. He was sick. He had to bow out of the Daphne. Adam Yates is sick. He came out as well while in second place. Richie Port has not looked good at all. I mean, at this rate, the two are maybe decided by TJ Van Garderen, Dan Martin, and uh, Jakob Fuglesang. Uh, Rigoberto Uran, maybe, still in the mix. Um, Nibali. Nibali was road to Giro, road to strong, uh, did not win. But he, he was definitely you know, looking good at the, at the Giro, which means he's depleted some. And he said he's going to ride the Tour. Maybe he'll ride for the KOM jersey. Maybe he'll go for stages. Maybe he'll go for the overall. Huh? Maybe now.